On this episode, we'll be building a 3D printed bracket to go between a painter pole and a diamond VHF UHF antenna. Hello and welcome to the Ham Radio 360 Field Radio Podcast. My name is John Jacobs, W7DBO, and I am the host of the Field Radio Podcast, which releases every other Thursday in your favorite podcast player or here on this YouTube channel. If this is the first time finding us, we encourage you to look at our other videos and listen to the podcast. Also, we ask that you subscribe to this channel and click that notification icon so you can get notifications uh, when we release new content. So as I mentioned, we need to 3D print a bracket. And so let me switch to a couple slides here. And as you can see here, this is how I normally raise my antennas. Uh, for a special events or camping. I like the ability of the painter poles to give a very low footprint. A lot of people move in and out of your canopies at events and there's less things for them to trip on if there's no tripod legs. And so that's why I like the painter poles. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here and then we're gonna zoom in here again. And you can kind of see the issue that I have at play here with this. Uh, I think we'll come in one more time. There we go. Okay, so uh, first of all, the painter pole is getting awfully close to my ground plane and my antenna, which causes some SWR issues. Also, the painter pole is thin at the top, so this is the stock diamond antenna mount. So I had to wrap up a bunch of black gaff tape to try and hold it in place, and that just got kind of spongy and didn't work too well. And then also, as you can see, this antenna is cantered to one side, and so that creates an offset center of gravity. And so if you are up extremely high, you start getting a little bit of bow in your antenna. So let me switch back to my regular camera here and I'll bring in so you can see, uh, this is what we're going to be printing. Uh, at the top, you have where the diamond antenna goes. At the bottom, you have the uh, where the acne goes. And then you, of course, you can see the, uh, the hole for the feed point. So let me switch over to my desktop and you can see this better in Thingiverse. This is my favorite program. It's free online to use uh, to create 3D files. And so now I can give you a little bit better picture here. Of course, there's the top uh, where the antenna is going to go in. Uh, there's that set screw. I found I really haven't had to use that set screw uh, because the friction fit on this uh, works just fine to hold it in place. Uh, there's that hole for the feed line to come up and through the center. And then as you can see down below, uh, there's the thread. And actually, if we kind of peer through this window, and I'll zoom in, uh, you can see this thread. Now, I do not believe Tinkercad is complex of enough program to create this thread, nor am I talented enough to do that. But what I did find is on Thingiverse, you can go to them and somebody has created that and shared the file. And so the best way to look at this is we're gonna kind of break this apart and I'll show you the different pieces. Uh, so first of all, I'll move away the tube and so now you can start to see the acne thread, but that acne thread was uh, not thick enough. So this is the piece that I downloaded from Thingiverse and then I was able to just put a ring around it to make it a little bit larger. Now this is my uh, cylinder that I was able to, we'll break that apart and cr simply create a horizontal hole for the feed point, create a horizontal hole for the set point screw, and then of course the center to hollow it out. So pretty simple, only a couple components, uh, a lot of trial and error, trying to get the, uh, the thickness just right on this. And so we'll go ahead and put that back all the way. Um, and so that's essentially what I was able to print. And the benefit is, is first of all, it gets your feed line up in the center. It keeps center of gravity, uh, but it also creates some separation uh, between the uh, antenna and the uh, painter pole. So I'll go ahead and run a time-lapse video here. Uh, this is my uh, 3D printer printing. Uh, now the vertical on this is I'll bring that up 125 millimeters so you do have some height on this one so your printer not necessarily you don't need a big bed but you do need a bed uh, that can do some height to print that and so as you can see it just goes ahead and uh, prints now I'll go ahead and switch now to the assembly this is kind of videotaped and this is my garage there's the uh, adapter so we're going to go ahead and put that on the painter pole and then uh, let's see here we're going to screw that in and then I'll grab the uh, line here, put the feed line in, couple tries to get that the right 
width and ability to feed that through and then go ahead and uh, put the feed light on and then as you can see it's just going to nice friction fit down in there so and then we'll go to a really short video this is the painter pole you can see the nice vertical uh, center of gravity everything looks good there and the painter pole is ready for you so i hope you enjoyed this uh this video, uh, I hope you found it useful. Once again, it was on Tinkercad, and I'll uh, in the show description, I will share this file with you. So if you just simply want to print this file, if you don't have a 3D printer, there's usually printing houses in your area that can print this. Uh, so you can have the file and go ahead and print it. And it's a, it's a great solution, uh, like I said, for the diamond antennas. So once again, my name is John Jacobs, W7DBO with the Ham Radio 360 Field Radio Podcast. Thank you for watching this and please remember to like the video, comment and subscribe. Thank you.